I'm going to show you how to find the standard deviation and variance for sample and population. And I'll show you also the range and mean and stuff like that in StatCrunch. So here's a problem. Listed below are the foot lengths and in inches for 11 randomly selected people taken in 1988. So it's been a while. Find the range, variance, and standard deviation for the given sample data. This is a sample, right? It's not the whole population, of course. Include the appropriate units in the results. Are statistics representative of the current population of all people? So current today. Okay. Open the data in StatCrunch. Then we're going to go to Stat, and we're going to perform stats on that column. So summary stats on the column. The information is in the variable one column, right? Okay, now this has been all selected right here. This is what's all selected already. Let's look. The number of them, n, mean, the average, right? Variance, standard deviation. These are sample, sample variance, sample standard deviation. And if you and the range. And if you want the population, you gotta come down to your chart and you gotta look for the unadjusted. That's the unadjusted. So I'm gonna click down command and click both of those, which will add those to the end there. So I have everything I need, I can click Compute. So there are 11 items in our chart. The mean, it's not being asked, but there's our variance, there's our standard deviation, and these are samples. There's our range, our minimum and maximum values, our adjusted variance, and our adjusted standard deviation. These are the population. So this question only talked about samples. So let's answer the question. The range of the sample of data was 1.8 inches. Yep, range was 1.8. Okay, from the minimum to the maximum. The standard deviation of sample data is 0.61. So standard deviation, it's a formula that you can do by hand. It takes a little bit of work, but in StatCrunch it's quickly done as a sample standard deviation right here, 0.613633. Round it off is 0.61. And the variance of the sample data, 0.38. It's given right here, 0.3765, so 0.38. Rounded off to two decimal places. Now, are the statistics representative of the current population? Well, that little bit of a sample and that long ago? Probably not. Since the measurements were made in 1988, is not necessarily representative of today's population. Okay? So pretty quick on how to find that information in StatCrunch, it's just interpreting it once it's out.